So today we are taking a Waymo, which is a robo taxi, also known as an autonomous vehicle or self-driving car. Phoenix is one of the only places in the world that offers that. Otherwise, it's San Francisco or China. And it's through Google. It's going to be really cool. It's going to be super exciting. Not many people have taken it. So let's take it and see how it goes. So here comes the Waymo. Coming on in, no driver at all. Man, look at that thing. It just pulled right in. Now it's got to go around, follow the laws. Even though it's going to pick us up right there, it still knows to go on the right side, the right of way, following the traffic pattern and through the driveway. Rather than say cutting straight over here, which a human might. That's one of the reasons I think it's safer than humans. So it seems to have stopped in front of the trash can. I thought it would come over here. So what's cool about the Waymos is that you need to unlock it on your phone so no one else can take it, unlike Uber or Lyft. And so just real quick, you can see all the sensors on it. it uses LiDAR to take in everything around it. And so that's all the sensors, getting an image of what's around and checking out everything. You can see there is no driver at all. And then it puts your initials or your nickname on top so you know it's yours. So we're gonna go ahead and get in before it drives off without us. Okay, so I just unlocked it on my app. That's why I have to cut it. So now the doors are unlocked and you can get in. That's how you know for sure it's yours. So let's go ahead and get in. Once inside, I mean, it looks like a normal car, but as you can see, there's nobody here. To begin your ride, press the start ride button in your lock. Not a single driver in sight. Nobody in the passenger seat. Nobody in the driver's seat. Just the computer. And whenever you're ready, you hit start ride on there. And then you can get started. And hit start ride here. Okay. And you Having can follow along side, with what it sees sure there. Is fastened. For any questions, press the call support button to speak with a rider support agent. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> no driver at all. So right now it's trying to navigate the driveway. It was a little bit slow, but overall it managed to get it pretty well. It's stopping to look both ways. Nobody coming. And here we go. Proceeding on North Coronado Street. Again, no driver at all. Nobody's hiding there. There's nothing there. We're approaching an intersection now, so we're going to see how it takes the intersection. So this is a pretty busy intersection, so let's let's see how it does. As you can see, a lot of cars right there. Now it's slowly inching its way up, much like a human would, and turning the steering wheel. And we're waiting to make a right, so we're just going to wait for these last few cars. And it just waited, it knew, and it was inching its whole way up. And just like that we're going. It navigated that really well. So we're stuck at a red light right now, and so far so, so good. Let's take a look around. So this is us at a red light. It keeps a really good distance with the car in front of us. More than most humans do. And you can follow along. Right here you can even play music if you want it. It has a set collection of music or you can put on your own music using your phone. So that's super cool, but it tells you when you're stuck at a red light, it shows you on there. You can see all the other cars, just like it's seeing through its sensors. Now we got a green, so we're going to get going. And it maneuvers it really, really well. Very smoothly. Proceeding on North Dobson Road. 
That was an excellent turn. Had it signal on and everything. Really nice Phoenix sunset here with the purple sky. And you can see, if you pay attention, it's stuck at 45 miles an hour exactly, which is the exact speed limit on this street. It doesn't go a single mile an hour over. Again, way better than humans. And that's part of the reason I feel safer in this car than I do in a human powered car. Still going really, really smooth. Sorry about that sun. Nice cool low rider right up there that we're following and that's pretty cool. So right now we've been going for about 10 minutes and it is so much fun. <laughs> We're having such a blast in this thing. Uh, it's just, it's just wow, just really stunning. So cool to be doing this. One of the only places in the world. Coming up on a stop sign right here. And it makes a full stop. Full stop and then proceeds. Very, very smart, super safe. And then we keep going and it's doing exactly 30 miles an hour. 28 now as we're approaching a little dip. But very, very safe. And so on the inboard computer, you can see different features that it offers. Like you can play whatever kind of music you want. You can follow along on the map. You can see the temperature. Right now it's 69 degrees, the day before Thanksgiving. You can learn about the car if you'd like and what went into making this. You can learn some writing tips for staying safe. You can learn about their privacy policy, which clarifies that although they do record uh, video, they do not record audio. So they only record video for safety's sake. If you're breaking a rule or you mess up the car, then they have it on camera. But otherwise they clarify that they do not intrude on your privacy. They don't record anything uh, unless there was an emergency and you got into a crash or something like that. So super safe, uh, super respectful of your privacy. And I am not paid by Google at all to say that. I just really love this technology. <laughs> Thank you.
right now we're waiting to make a left turn at a red light here. And you can follow along as the cars go by. You can see what the car sees. It's really, really cool. Has its turn signal on, perfect stop, just waiting. It even knows to stop behind the line so the crosswalk can proceed. Just a super safe experience. We're about to get a green light here. Let's follow along as it turns. It goes ahead, wheel turning on its own. <laughs> so it momentarily struggled there. Once we made the turn, it seemed to have gotten a little confused as it oriented with the lane, but it quickly resolved it. It wasn't an issue. Definitely better than a human does. So we're approaching our destination here and it reminds you that when you're ready to be picked up again you can use the app because what I did was that I set it to multiple destinations for only a couple bucks more than if I just went straight from point A to point B. You can add in pit stops and it's not really that much more money. So it's a really good deal. You get out of the car, the car you were in might drive away but when you're ready you go in your app. You go in your app, request it, and then you continue on your route and it really doesn't charge that much more money at all. So it's a really cool deal. <laughs> You're never gonna get that with Uber. <laughs> took us to the back. So it actually took us to the back. Oh, yeah. It took us to the back of the market here. We're in the back alley. <laughs> so that's one mistake it did. We should have gotten to the front and there's no way I can easily change that. So we're just going to get out in the back alley here. <laughs> oh well. And yeah, we are in the back alley here by the trash can. But that's fine. It's all part of it. But there you go. You close the door. Make sure you got everything. And then we carry on. As you can see, we're going to watch it pull away. Thanks. Please close doors all the way. Thanks. So, looks like a door might have been left open. Maybe the window? Might have been the window that needed to be closed. So you see it tells you, tells you when the door isn't closed or the window isn't closed and you need to do it. Otherwise it's going to keep bothering you. So let's watch it drive away here. And what's cool, it has this cool light on the ground. I'll tell you, it's a Waymo. That's really cool. Now there it goes. Pulling away all by itself. So we're about to get our next Waymo coming in here to go to our next destination. Here it comes. Okay, and it's having a little trouble navigating the stop. We were supposed to stop right here. And instead it stops right next to the street light. So we're just gonna walk over to it. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Okay, so we're just going to get into the car here. I got to unlock it with my app and then it'll let us in. So one thing I love about these cars is that it smells so good in here. It actually smells like perfumes, kind of sweet cinnamon perfume or something. And also it doesn't take off unless you're ready. Heading Unlike to Uber. Freddy's frozen custard and steak burgers. Please make sure your seatbelt is fastened. For any questions, press the call support button to speak with a rider support agent. <laughs> so we are actually going quite fast down this alley 
I don't think it understands speed limits and alleys, but I think it was going about 15 miles an hour a moment ago. <laughs> yeah, we're going up to almost at 12. We're going around this corner here. Go navigate this turn out of the driveway. It looks over to the side. Nobody there. And then there we go. And it just turns by itself. We're approaching our next destination here, which is Freddy's Burgers. Proceeding on West Iowa Avenue. Yeah, nobody there. It's crazy to see that there's no driver, there's no passenger, just us. Let's see how it navigates a parking lot. So far, pretty good. Wow. Amazing to see it turning the steering wheel by itself. Crazy to see there's nobody there Finding doing that. A spot to pull over. So it has to find a spot first. There's Freddy's up ahead. And let's see where it takes us and how it navigates a parking lot like that. Wow. So it did that really well. It pulled over slightly into a parking space that was vacant. Pulled over slightly so it's out of traffic. To begin your ride, press the start ride button in your app. And really well done there. That was actually pretty impressive. So we're gonna get out here. Wow. That is impressive. You wanna make sure you got everything. Yeah, phone wall of keys, right? Let's watch it pull away again. There are its sensors going. So let's watch this thing pull off. Let those take a moment. All right, well, I don't know. It's not pulling away. We sure aren't getting back in right now, though. <laughs> but that's what's cool about it. It lets you take a stop like that. Go to your destination, eat, do whatever, hang out with friends. And when you're ready, you just call it again through the app. And it's really not much extra charge at all. It's so much better than Uber or Lyft because no one's going to wait for you and you have to start a new ride. So here it goes. I think it's about to take off. There we go. Oh, okay. It just took off. Almost pulled right in front of that car. <laughs> okay, so maybe that, maybe that wasn't the safest thing, but for the most part, still way better than humans. How many times have we as humans almost hit a car pulling out of somewhere? And there it goes. So after we finished eating at Freddy's Burgers, we called the Waymo back to us through the app and we went straight home. It was a wonderful experience. I had a blast doing this. I really think autonomous vehicles are the future. They're safer than humans, they're smarter, and best of all, you don't have to deal with a driver that you don't know in the front seat like you do with Uber or Lyft. You can just kick back, relax, and it's private. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and thank you so much for watching.